think I could ever tell Ralph? There's no law saying best friends have to have the same dreams. So I remember when the first film came out, Wreck-It Ralph, it wasn't on my radar. I wasn't impressed at all. I didn't really care to see the film. I saw the film and absolutely loved it. So now we have the sequel. How did it turn out? My name is Brennan Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Hey, what's going on, guys? Thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review. For Ralph Breaks the Internet, I really do appreciate it. I remember when I first reacted to one of the trailers, I thought it was freaking hilarious. I laughed my butt off. I could not wait to see this movie. Now, it is being written and not written and directed. It's being directed by, no, it is being written and directed by Phil Johnston. Um, he does not have a long filmography. This is his first full length feature. He's only done like two shorts prior to this. Uh, it's also the other director, co director, is Rich Moore. You probably heard of him before. He's been part of the Simpsons for a while and he also directed Zootopia and that was a really 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 good movie right here now for the most all the voice actors did come back you know we have uh, John C. Riley as Ralph and you know he is a favorite of mine I really did love him and uh, Step Brothers with Will Ferrell and I'm um, looking forward to his movie Holmes that's coming out later this year as well and he's a standout in this film I mean there's really pretty much nothing about Ralph that you don't like or especially just how that's just how I feel now, the first film, Ralph was in arcade, but now he's in the internet. And that is one of the things that I loved about this film right here is just the visual representation of the internet. The internet is it's the World Wide Web, it's, it's endless, infinite possibilities and, and resources that you can use at your disposal. And the way they illustrated the next film was just brilliant. I mean, I kind of wish I can jump into my computer right now just to play around in the internet, you know, from a different point of view. I mean, down to like pop-up blockers and, and ads and, and just everything like that. I, I, I thought they did a very great job there. Uh, it, it was phenomenal and it was very creative. Just something that I've never, ever experienced before. Also, something I liked about this film was just the very beginning. I mean, as soon as the film started off, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm drawn in, guys. You know, this forget Incredibles 2. And I love that film. Like, I, so far, I was just like, okay, hey, you know, Incredibles 2 is going to, you know, win the Oscar for Best Animated Film. Could be a contender for Best Picture, to be honest with me. But then, when as soon as uh, Ralph Breaks the Internet started, I was like, no, nah, this is already surpassing uh, Incredibles 2. And we're not even three minutes into the film. Now, something else that I did like about this film are all the uh, Disney princesses. They're in, they, they were prominent in the trailer, and there was like two scenes where they were uh, the main focus in this movie, towards the beginning and towards the end. I really did love them towards the end. And while I was trying to pay attention to all the dialogue, there were just so many Disney princesses. I'm up, it was like a fun game to me. You know what I'm saying? Like I was just trying to like pinpoint, okay, that's Pocahontas. That's Cinderella. That's Snow White. That's Moana. That's Jasmine from... Uh, I to say Jasmine from the Lion King, Jasmine from Aladdin. That's Ariel from Little Mermaid. That's Rapunzel from Tangle. That's that red haired girl from Brave, uh, Brave or whatever that movie that I did not see. And then there's so many that there was like a couple of them I could not. I was like, who are you? Where did you come from? And this is one princess. She had like wind powers or something, and she had some type of cat or raccoon with her. I'm like, who? I don't, I don't know who you are. But she had some wind powers. They also had the ice, uh, uh, Elsa and the other lady from Frozen. I mean, it was, it was fun. I mean, I, I really can imagine the writers and directors like, okay, let's throw in as many pe people as we possibly can. And, um, you know, the audience is going to have fun trying to guess where all the Disney princesses came from. I really did enjoy that. It, it was a lot of fun. I, I enjoyed it. Of course, uh, we got Gal Gadot in here where, uh, as well. Uh, her voice stood out to me. We also have Taraji P. Henson. I'm a big fan of hers. And also Sarah Silverman. So, you know, the, the cast is, is on point as far as these voice actors are concerned. I also love the nostalgia aspect of this film. And, like, I'm a diehard fan of, like, Street Fighter and things like that, right? You know, they had Chun-Li in here, Ryu, Zangief, Bison, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, snap, Sonic, Mario. And it's just, like, Bowser from Mario. You know, like, is it Bowser? Yeah, yeah. 
um, they had the the villain from the um, I forgot his name. I was gonna call him Mr. Hedgehog, but I, I, is it is it Mr. Robotnik, the villain from Sonic? Somebody help me out in uh, in the comment section or whatever. But it was just cool seeing all these popular characters from like the '90s and the '80s and just from video games. Period. All kind of masked up in the movie just together. I mean, it just looked cool or whatever, and I I I, I enjoyed the hell out of it. The film is also funny. Um, it does have uh, some adult jokes in there as well. Um, now, as far as my gripes, here's my gripes. I love the first act for the most part. The second act is where it kind of took a, a, a dive for me. I, I didn't enjoy it as much. It seemed like it was just like an endless amount of MacGuffins that the main characters were chasing. Like, oh, we have to get this object to complete the goal. And then you try to go get that object and you hit a brick wall. We got to get another object. Then we got to do something else. That kind of came repetitive to me and I just started not to care um, as much. And also the third act picked up a little bit better for me, but it was somewhat anticlimactic for me. And I just wanted a little bit more like in the first act of the film, you could really sense the sense of urgency and the severity of the situation. In the third act, I didn't have those same emotions. I was like, OK, everything is going to be OK. The good guys are going to win and it's going to be a happy little ending with a bow and cherry on top. OK, I kind of want to be at the edge of my seat, even with the computerized animation. You know what I'm saying? And I just didn't get that. However, there is a moral to this story and about friendship and the power of love and all that good stuff. And it's a very valuable lesson. It, it, it this this film really does kind of shoves in your face, but at least it tastes good as far as, you know, be, you being selfish and not wanting the best for others and what a true friend really means. I have to give the film credit there because they hit that nail on the head. Tough. But the second act was, uh, it was just pretty disappointed. I, I was kind of bored in the second act and kind of just ready to go. Um, but, you know, overall, I really did enjoy the film. If I had to rate Ralph Breaks the Internet out of a 1 out of 10, I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. Yes, a 7.5 out of 10. But guys, I had to think about it for a second. But guys, that is just my opinion for Ralph Breaks the Internet. Have you seen it or do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know down in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you don't, that's fine. But you can still subscribe to my channel. You can also look me up on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. It's right there at the bottom of the screen. And I made it very easy by providing links to all that good stuff down in the description box below. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning into my pen slash review for Ralph Breaks the Internet. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brennan Keith Avery. And that's just my opinion. Peace.